Buying food and snacks at Disney World can get expensive, but to save money and to keep yourself from getting hangry, bringing snacks with you to the Disney parks is something you're gonna wanna do. Now, before we get into the snacks that I usually bring and recommend taking to the Disney parks, let's talk a little bit of a meal that you can bring with you. Now, anytime that I go to Disney World, I usually bring some type of meal with me. And when I say that, I usually mean I like to take some type of sandwich. Great go-to sandwich ideas are, of course, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, or I will take lunch meat sandwiches at times. Another great and easy option that I have seen friends take in the past are Uncrustables. Whether you like Uncrustables or not, they are a very easy option to just throw right into your park bag. I know kids love them, so they'd be great for families. And it's just an easy thing to eat throughout the Disney parks, especially if you are looking for some type of lunch option to eat while you're in the parks and not have to go to quick service restaurants or spend money. Having some type of sandwich on hand is a really great thing to eat while you are in lines or walking around the parks and then maybe eat a dinner while you're in the park. So besides this meal that I take with me to Disney World, I have a lot of other great options for snacks that I usually take with me that I like to have in my park bag. The one thing that I absolutely like to have are some type of granola bars. I find that these are great snacks to have throughout the day. They are very filling as well as there are a lot of breakfast bars that you can get as well. So if you aren't necessarily wanting to spend money in the morning at your hotel or pay for a breakfast or anything like that, you can eat some type of breakfast bar, which is a great thing to have at Disney World. There are so many types of granola bars out there. Of course, these are just generic Walmart brands, but you can find any kind of breakfast or granola bar out there that that is the flavor that you would like to eat. Another snack thing that I will take at times to the Disney parks that is also great for kids are applesauce pouches. I find that these are great snack ideas for numerous reasons. One, it has the twistable pouches on the top. So if you decide to not eat it all in one sitting, you can always save it for later and have it for a snack later on. But also I find that it's a refreshing snack to eat while you are walking around the parks. There are a lot of other flavors when it comes to applesauce pouches. So I'm sure there's something that you could find that you like. I find that they are also relatively mess free as long as they don't explode in your backpack, but they are a lot easier to eat rather than having a spoon in a regular applesauce cup. So that's something that you could consider taking to the Disney parks. Another thing you could consider taking to the Disney parks with you are some type of chips or crackers. You can get a variety pack for chips that you can eat that are individually bagged, which are great for days in the parks. One thing that I usually like to eat are goldfish crackers. In this case, I have whale crackers that I'll be taking with me today. There are are so many types of Cheez-Its out there. Cheez-Its are another great snack option. Peanut butter crackers are good. Pretzels are good. These are peanut butter filled pretzels that I like to take as well. Another thing that I have recently started taking are veggie straws. I find that this is also another good refreshing snack to eat. It's a little healthier than regular chips that you can eat, but I enjoy taking veggie straws or veggie chips. If you aren't wanting to spend money on snacks in the Disney parks, such as popcorn, you can bring your own popcorn with you to the parks. I've seen there are are brands like Skinny Pop, which are great. You can get a bag to take with you. But also I have recently seen on Amazon, you can actually buy a huge bundle of snacks, which is great. Then that really simplifies your grocery shopping because you can get a whole wide variety of snacks in a bundle that can be delivered to you. The next type of snack that I like to take with me are some type of gummies. Now with that, these are great, not only for kids, but for adults. I like to take some type of fruit snacks with me to eat in the parks. I find that these are great little energy boosters just while I'm walking around the parks, while I am in lines waiting, I can just pull out a bag of fruit snacks and munch on them and then get a little energy boost. Also, you can get these in a wide variety of stores, but at Costco, they have this variety pack of these fruit leathers, which I have recently been really enjoying eating in the parks. I also like to take some type of sour gummy candies with me. I find that it's just a really great dessert type thing to take with you. After doing a day at Disney, it's nice just to have something sweet to eat. And so I always like having some type of sour gummy candy, such as gummy worms or Sour Patch Kids. Now in the Disney gift shops, there are gummy type candies that you can purchase that I think are like Goofy Candy Company, or I can't remember, it's Goofy brand something, but those bags of candy will run you from like five to $6. And personally, I'm okay sticking with my $2 bag of Sour Patch Kids. So to save you some money, you can bring some gummy candies on your own. Also, another thing that I really like to have in my park bag is some type of gum. I find that this is very refreshing. After you are spending a day at Disney World, it's a nice way just to freshen up by having a piece of gum or even a mint. If you don't like gum, you can bring mints with you. I heard this somewhere before that Disney World actually doesn't sell gum anywhere on Disney 
Disney property. The reason why they do this is because they don't want gum stuck everywhere around their theme park and so it's a way just to keep everything clean and so if you enjoy having gum I highly recommend bringing gum ahead of time with you to the Disney parks. If you're traveling just buy a pack before you go on your trip or get it at the airport or at a gas station as you're driving to Disney World because you won't be able to find it on Disney property. I do like to take some other healthier option snacks with me to Disney World such as a fruit or vegetable. I find that after a long hot day or during a long hot day at Disney World it's really nice to have some type of fruit or vegetable just to make me feel a little bit healthier throughout the day. So with this I'll either bring some type of orange or apple and I always like to peel and cut up the fruit or vegetable ahead of time. I'll also take cucumbers and peppers with me. Also bananas are other great snacks but you want to make sure that they don't get squished in your bag so that's another great little breakfast item that you can eat whenever you're in the parks maybe at the beginning of the day. And the last thing I recommend is bringing some type of bottled water with you whether it's a actual bottled water or just a water bottle that you can refill throughout the day you absolutely want to stay hydrated no matter what time you go to Disney World. You'll do a lot of walking, a lot of running around whenever you're at Disney World, and so I highly recommend staying fueled and hydrated whenever you're in the parks. They have water bottle fill-up stations everywhere, and you can actually go to quick service restaurants and get a glass of water. Buying a bottle of water at Disney World can run you anywhere from four to six dollars, so I recommend just buying a case of your own or bringing your own water bottle that you can fill up throughout the day. Now I know exactly what you're thinking. You're wondering, I already have to bring all of these items with me to Disney World if I'm traveling. How am I gonna actually get these snacks to Disney World? Well, you have a couple of options. If you are driving to the Disney parks, you always have the option to go grocery shopping ahead of time and actually bring the snacks with you. Or another thing that I would definitely do if I was staying on Disney property is I would actually have groceries delivered to my hotel room once I actually get to Disney World. There are so many grocery delivery services out there, but one delivery Every service that I didn't know about and just recently had heard about is called Amazon Fresh. We all use Amazon these days to have items delivered to and from our house, so why not give them a try when it comes to having groceries delivered? I highly recommend having some type of snacks or food delivered to your hotel at Disney World because this can help to save you some money as well as time. In Disney World, of course, we'll have snacks or items that you may have forgotten, but you will have that added little upcharge of Disney tax since you are buying it there. So to avoid that, you can have items and groceries delivered to your hotel. Now to simplify this online grocery shopping process, I actually have made a grocery shopping list in the description bar below that lays out all of the items that I like to take whenever it comes to eating snacks and bringing snacks at Disney World. With this list, you can either choose to have the items delivered to your house to take with you to Disney World, or you can just have them delivered to your hotel once you get there. I have really enjoyed bringing my own snacks to Disney World. I find that I'm able to stay fueled and keep from getting hangry throughout the day, and it also helps me to save a little bit of money whenever I'm going to Disney. Now, besides snacks, there are a couple of other essential items that you're going to want to take with you to Disney World, which I share here in this video, as well as some other tips tips and tricks videos that you can find here in this playlist. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed these snack ideas. Hit that subscribe button if you can and enjoy your trip to Disney World. See you guys!